Hi, my name is Nick. I'm an MCAT teacher for Kaplan, and I know that planning to study for the MCAT can be overwhelming. So today, let's explore together how to prepare for the MCAT in two months. First things first, what do I use to study? Well, I'm going to be honest, even though I work for Kaplan, I would be doing you a disservice if I didn't tell you to start with the AMC materials. This includes the essential guide, the full length exams, and all of their sample questions that are in their section banks and cue packs. Nobody writes the exam better than the test makers themselves. But I can tell you firsthand that we've made a tremendous effort to mimic the style and difficulty of the MCAT ourselves, which brings me to my next huge recommendation, our Kaplan seven book series that gives you an in-depth review of each subject tested on the MCAT itself. The beauty of coupling our books with the AMC material are that we give you both content and strategy to help you feel more confident as you attack those official AMC passages, not to mention give you more than enough questions and passages to practice on your own so you'll never have to worry about running out. And if you're the type of person who loves interacting with classmates and having a team of instructors at the ready to help you in real time, check out our live classes. These come with all of the AMC materials so you don't have to pay anything extra and you get access to our online calendar, flashcards, our seven book series, and so much more. So now that you've got everything you need to start studying, the real question is, where do I even start? Well, the answer is take a practice test. Dive in and take that first full length. I know a lot of us are worried about that initial score and some may even feel like it's a waste to take their first full length, but I'm gonna be real with you. Nobody cares what that score is, so neither should you. It's not like medical schools are gonna get to see that number when you apply, and you're definitely going to improve after doing some targeted and dedicated studying. So forget the number. Start with a full length test. We recommend AMC full length one and set aside some time to review it. You wanna make sure that you're studying to teach this test, not just take it. So when you go through, first figure out which topics are giving you the most trouble. Why are you missing them? Once you figured out why, then start planning how you're going to fix it. Did you miss questions because you were like lacking in content? Maybe you found yourself misreading the question stem. Doesn't matter. Start digging in and figure out why you're missing those questions and then divvy up how you're going to study them throughout the week. Maybe you're going to go through each section or topic during week one. You can do this by doing one topic from bio biochem and one from cars a day and then rotate that with one from Ken Fizz and Psych Soch. Or maybe you wanna do a little bit of cars each and every single day with a little bit of science sprinkled in after. It's really up to you, but the idea is to break it down into small and manageable parts. For weeks two through five, this is where you can start digging in and experimenting with what you learned from week one. How long did it take you to cover the topics? Were they high yield? Did you have enough time to do practice questions and passages on top of reviewing any content and strategies? This is your chance to break things down even more. Really dig in and figure out which topics you tend to miss. And the most important thing is to start fitting those in with dedicated practice from your AMC and Kaplan resources. For example, you might find that it's time to focus on the reproductive system and biological membranes from BioBioChem, and you are still a bit shaky on learning and memory and work and energy from Psychosocial and ChemPhys. No worries at all. That can be spread out over five days with a bit of CARS practice and some questions from those section banks or cue packs sprinkled in. Set aside one more day, though, to review everything you learned that week. And note any habits that you're trying to break practice those new habits you're trying to keep, and then rinse and repeat for the next week. If you'd like, you could even schedule a full length exam once every other week. If you find that you're already scoring near your target score, but just need to practice more on that endurance, because man, a seven and a half hour test is long, great. Maybe start planning to take a test once every week towards the end, maybe around weeks four and five. What you don't want to forget, though, is that you need to allocate enough time to review every single question on those exams. And most importantly, don't burn yourself out. You'll want to start taking at least one day off to rest and recover before the next week starts. So now we've hit week six and seven. If you didn't have enough time to take a full length practice test any time in the previous weeks, no worries at all. Just make sure that you're budgeting time to do them now. Take the first full length at the beginning of the week and plan a day so that you can completely review it. 
then break it down and follow what you've been doing in the past. Figure out which topics you're still struggling with, which ones are high yield, and plan to review them throughout the week. Don't forget though, you need to make sure you take one day off and work in some practice with MCAT style passages and questions instead of just doing content review. At this point, you're an expert. You know what to do and you have a decent amount of content knowledge to draw from. So now it's just a matter of putting it into practice. This is your cool down week. Don't overdo it. Take one full length, especially one from the AMC if you haven't worked through them all already. And as always, make sure you're setting aside enough time to completely review it. This time though, you don't wanna worry about topics that are new to you or that you have no idea about. Time is of the essence and the name of the game is building your confidence. So focus more on areas that you know you can quickly review or even set aside time for things that you're very strong at. This is meant to be your confidence booster. I like to tell my students to spend 80% of the time in the last week reviewing the topics they love and can teach back to someone and the other 20% checking those fuzzy topics that are always needing like that little bit of a refresher. Amino acids is one of those topics for me. But the most important thing, take the day before your test day off. Watch a movie, hang out with friends, grab a favorite meal, carbo load the night before because you're about to run a marathon. This is also the perfect day to test drive your route to the test center. I mean, you don't wanna be stuck in traffic or figure out that there's suddenly a road closure right then and there. You might even wanna scope out where the bathroom is in your test center. Either way, take that day off, rest up, do your test day rituals, and get a good night's sleep so you can crush that test. So that's it, future doctors. We're here to train the next generation of teachers, not just doctors. And if you have any questions, comment down below. We're here for you.